And also, if there's gelato and espresso on our notes, just for the record, that means that marionetta is high, as Sissy says, on caffeine and sugar. So you might want to watch out in the audience. That is probably not a safe um, environment for you to be in. Please keep any children near you. and uh, Hands and arms inside the barricade. At all times, absolutely. So we don't know what the main event is, but probably whatever is underneath is crazy and amazing and uh, the whole show will be so get your friends down here to uh, VWE Italiana and we will be getting started here in just about five minutes Hi. who has the ability to send groups invites like fan groups I oh wasn't I doing something Generally, on most days, you're being a pain in the ass. Did you mean something other than that? I'm never a pain in the ass. Oh, 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 my bad. Two people. Me, for one. You'll see a woman named Goddess come in and a woman named Gothy. You tell her what you want her to do. If she say no, hit the bitch. Oh, my God. If she say no, hit the bitch. I like that. Cat yes. Williams. Oh, hey there, Arcana. Oh, I can just copy all this and paste it. Thank you, Ty Ty. Crap, it didn't work. One nine seven one three nine two five. See, I'm the only one with proper gear, so I can kind of mute out Keiko with this headset. Can kind of what? Mute you out. And why would you want to do a thing like that? I can't hear you. Hmm? I can hear you. <laughs> Oops, that's Damn not it. it. Her charm is killing me. What charm? Fiery redhead Duffy charm. doesn't know what you mean by charm because this is not a word that he's familiar with. I just get starstruck by women. Either way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're two minutes for showtimes. Make sure to have your settings all set up. Make sure you're at midnight on so you can enjoy the fireworks show. Your media is running. Make sure all your friends are in outside the barricade. If they jump inside the barricade, we will get rid of them really quickly, and it will hurt very, very much. If you're so obliged, please drop some money into the... Uh, tip jar right here that would help us keep us running also please uh, help out our sponsors as they help us to, so you guys keep watching the show piling in as much as i can in two minutes what happens at the 59 mark oh, oh uh, at the shit. 59 mark they need to make some noise because that tron is going to come he wants you to get excited to get loud. We're in Italy. We want to hear the passion. We want to see the passion. And we like it loud. So get those gestures ready. And if you don't have any, pick them up on either side of the commentary table. Because it's time. Dorothy, what time is it? It's 59. Let's hear those cheers. Woo.
I like chicken. I like chicken. I like chicken. I like chick. I like chick. I like chicken. There's everyone's favorite commentator, Cassius Leroy. Even in Italy, he brings his chicken with him. Oh, yeah. Good evening, folks. Welcome to VWE Edge at the commentary table to my far right. Of course, you know him, you hate him, you love him, whatever. I don't give a damn. The perfect one, perfection, Bryce Ketterly. And, of course, in the middle. Is the newly minted red your favorite redhead keiko kurax and to my left i am your humble lovable commentator deathy it is a pleasure to have you all here tonight hi. we are gonna have some action hi we're gonna have some action <laughs> here and we're gonna sum it up with a uh title match so folks uh this is the last edge until wrestle series five Mm -hmm. Next Friday, Friday the thirteenth, we're gonna have we're gonna have one hell of a show. Are you ready to get this ride started? Let's do this. All right. Who wants to introduce? I'll take it. I'll take it. I got this. Let's introduce match one. As we wait, Cassius Lee, our referee for this evening. Introducing first, fingers. What? Yeah, he needs to get off. And introducing first from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in tonight at 150 pounds, standing at a height of five feet four inches. This is the addiction, Kaylani Bele Star. Since uh, her recent return, Kaylani's been making quite the impact, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. They told me that she was one to watch, that I was going to be impressed with what I saw, and they were absolutely right. She is definitely a powerhouse in the ring. It's going to be interesting with her with her upcoming opponent. <laughs> Kalani, ready Rafi to go for some one-on-one -on -one action. Ready, he can check her, but only if he's washed his hands first. Well, of course. And let's bring out her opponent. From Africa, standing at a height of six feet even, with an unknown weight, of course. She is the mother of snakes, the Black Mamba. Oh, here she comes, Duffy. It's your best friend. Oh, look at those tattoos! They're all scaly! I'm already scared of this woman. What it, What in the ball? Uh-uh, uh-uh, don't bring that shit over here. Now, Black Mamba, Black Mamba, Mamba. Mamba. Black Mamba just said, it'll be really, really super nice tonight. I'm invisible. 
I'm invisible. He wants to hold his baby. I'm invisible! I'm invisible. I'm invisible. Uh, I'm invisible. Oh. Oh no. There you go, Ducky. Give it pizza. Give it pizza. No, oh, hell no. It's crawling pizza. on me. It's freaking crawling on me. Oh my oh, god. Don't move. What the hell? Please. Don't move. Man, they don't pay me enough for this shit. We don't get paid at all. Isn't I mean, yeah, so we don't get paid sweet. at all. He gets paid. Don't let him no, pull I don't. you. No, I don't. No, I don't. You are up Stuart Wharf's butt so far. You can, you can. See, it means that you'll be able to hey, hey, hey. help him. Hey, hey, hey. ain't involved in you. any anal play. I, I don't believe that at all. I don't know why but we went there. If you, you can afford the medical care, so it's fine. Either way, folks, let's get back to this ring as we see the black Cassius Leroy, of course, patting down. Oh, what the hell? Fatality. That scared me a little bit. Either way, Cassius Leroy getting set for this match. Kaylani Velistar going one-on-one -on -one with the Black Mamba. And here we go, folks. The first match of the evening is underway of this last edge before Wrestle Series 5. Kaylani going against the Black Mamba. I think Black Mamba's done hissing now. Well, with Kaylani coming back to the ring, I know exactly how her style is, but I've never seen the Black Mamba in action. I'm only going to take y'all's word for this. She is amazing. Big, huge powerhouse. Mm-hmm. That's all I need to know. Oh! So, do not... Oh! Okay, that's, that kind of shows that. Oh! Mamba's showing off her strength. And her hisses. Oh, it's and, the, like and the little hisses. snake hisses back. And it's kind of like kisses, except it's more sneaky. Hisses for kisses. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're a great rhyme. You should be a poet. And you know it. God! Kaylani All right, what's once going again on, on the ground and working her way back to her feet. Oh man, good little kick from the midsection there. Is is that is that attacking to the snake in her gut? Oh no, oh no, oh no! Mama's got her! Oh huge Alabama slam! Right this on is her the lower third back. And this is the third time Kaylani's landed on her lower back. We're early in the match. Don't worry. Cover. Oh! Kaylani gets out at two. Getting messed up, but she's not out. Black Mama really not getting the reaction from the crowd. Oh, we got some haters up in here. No, no, not me, Snake. I, I think that Black Mamba, though, gets all the love she wants from her little sneaky companions, and so it's just fine. Mamba going for the Irish whip now. Missing the clothesline, Kaylani goes down low. That's what her short Clever. quick style is going to help. Yeah, great move on Kaylani. But it didn't pay off there. Oh. That second one's a doozy. Yeah, she got thanked for it with a big boot to the face. Hopefully she didn't chip any teeth. Well, I mean, it really doesn't matter. She's not that pretty anyway. So anyway, here we go. Cover. Oh! <laughs> there's a cover! Only a one. I mean, she wouldn't be in my repertoire. You know. Being uh, I don't perfect and all. I think that she wants to be. I think that she's pretty good with the repertoire she's got. She should want to be in the, per the Hall of Perfection with me. I respect the fact that you both can pronounce that word. Uh, uh, what? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm I'm like to the corner. Oh, sh I don't know anymore with that. Wow. Repet, repet. I can't. I can't say repertoire. 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 Okay. Right. That, that was I right. Repertoire. That's right. 
said Raptor. 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 Perfect. Oh no, she's going to do a little mouse thing. She's gonna eat her. Oh, she put her up in her. That's not great. Oh, oh no. God, the hissing the is hisses. freaking me out now. It's awesome. You well, you know what? You're just crazy. Oh, I wait a minute. Oh, 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 Connor. Oh no. Okay, Lonnie look, went for some sort of crossbody, but got caught. Yeah, got caught with a crossbody, and then caught in a gorilla press slam. Okay, Lonnie just can't get going. <laughs> Mama says she should have landed in her belly. I don't think her mouth is I... that wide. I'm not going to continue with the joke. Shut up, Dad. All right. There's a cover. Into the cover. Only a two count. I lost. I lost count of how many times Kalani landed on that same area. That lower back's really getting some work. On his black mama's in full control over this. Claiming she's her dinner. This can't end well. But as long as she puts Kalani away, I don't give a damn. Win's a win. She can do whatever the hell she wants. If there's any cannibalism in here, it's just turn another cheek. Now, oh, Kalani's back in the, the ropes, kind of worn out. Black Mama's not really paying attention, more telling us how she's going to prepare Yeah, she was Kehlani. kind of uh, turning her back there on Kalani, which is not usually a good idea, but Kalani didn't take advantage of it, so... It's fine, although, oh, she did just oh. roll out of the way and let Mamba fly over the ropes. And we that's thought, where things can change. Thought Kehlani was captured, and Black Mamba went quickly after her, but silly Mamba, you're a snake, not a spider. Silly Mamba tricks are for kids? Oh. That's even better. Okay. Uh-oh, okay, Kehlani come off the ropes. Off the ropes. Oh! 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 delicious. That Swan time. Swan balls. Bomb yes, splash thingy. I just made that Woo! up. That uh, anyways, it was effective taking her down on her, taking Black Mama down and giving Kaylani a little bit of time to rest, but you can see she still did damage to that lower back as she performed the move. So it's really it did, but it took yeah. some major, major guts to go over those ropes onto the concrete below. Do, 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 do you have it? Lawsuit. Okay. Guts. Dedication to the move. Oh. <laughs> I have it. And yeah. Mama comes up with attitude. Oh, what? right hands into the midsection. Nothing pretty about Black Mama's fighting style here. Just a good shot in the middle. Oh! Oh! oh snake eyes! Yes, the, the yes is, was intentional. Right on the apron. Snake eyes? Yeah, yeah. Shut up. I just thought of that, huh? Pretty neat, huh? No. <laughs> you're, you're just oh, so clever. God. That snake is so inspiring for you. It's Way telling me what blue. to say. Kill him. <laughs> time out, time He's, out. Dead. He's dead. Anyways, Black Mamba getting Kalani back to the ring. Kalani's still flat on her back. Black Mamba uh, isn't really in control besides Kalani's here and there getting a little bit of momentum, but really I think it's to the point where Black Mamba's just going to take control. There she this. is again. Mamba is talking to the snake inside of her. She says it's, she's not for you. The last one escaped because of you. Oh, I thought she was talking to me. I want her. You can't have Kiwani either. Okay. Uh, okay. No. She's talking you to the snake her. inside of her. You can have her. Mamba says no. I said no. What is going you get on? No she's arguments to the from snake from... inside Kaylani? She'll get she's no She's talking to the me. snake inside of herself. Oh, God. She's... Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, wait, that just gave her distraction. Ooh, kick to the gut. If she is pregnant with a snake, then that snake could have just seen some damage. Oh, hi. Oh. Guys. Nice draw kick. Into the pan. Could she steal it here? One, two. 
No. She's she kicks out at two. That onslaught. She thought she could steal it away, but Mamba just gets the shoulder up. Kailani looks exhausted. I said Kailani looks exhausted. I'm not gonna repeat myself. Aww. What? Okay. Yeah, you got him to shut up. Anyways, Kaylani now get, waiting on Black Mamba to get their feet. Maybe a bad idea. Incoming, Kaylani. Oh, oh god! With the Hergarana, got caught in a sit out power bomb. Oh, good. One, god. two, three. Oh, got her. You know what? To give Mamba massive credit, she had control of that entire match. There really wasn't much of a struggle. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by pinfall, Black Mamba. It actually was a scary performance. What do you mean I have to say the mothers of snakes? No. The mother of snakes, Black Mamba. She said okay, she, she told the snake that this was hers. The mother of snakes, Black Mamba. She's right in front of you, dude. Oh, air! Get it off! Thank you, thank you, air. Okay. Ugh. He was mean to it, Black Mamba. Just no, I know. wasn't. He wouldn't even I... eat it. I did it! I, I oh, saw him pulling on it. He almost broke its spine. It, it doesn't it, have He, she, spine. it almost, almost choked me to death. And he tried to whoa, feed whoa, pizza. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. I checked Keiko's hair. There was no mice. There was lice. <laughs> there oh. was not lice. Anyways, congratulations, Black Mama, on your win here tonight. A very dominating win. I'm actually... Kailani didn't really get the return that she was probably expecting. She really hit a brick wall here tonight. She may be holding back for something bigger to come, or she may have trained too hard this week, and, and it's just been an off week for her. Or Some Black people Mama don't like to bad. report their injuries. And there are people who don't like to report their injuries mostly because if our co-chairman will fake an injury ending a career ending injury but anyway anyways, that was a great match now? there was well we could always go to our second match but apparently apparently I'm wrong no no second match no second match oh boy here we go oh my god ladies Why? and gentlemen oh Please welcome to the ring ah! your VWE World Heavyweight Champion. Why? Why the lightning? Gal, a dude, Why did Snowpaw. They... Can, can he not have lightning when he comes in? Why are you so scared hey. of everything? What? Why can't he just have the theme song to the People's Court? Good I don't lord. Know, I'm, I'm even thinking about that, but... Uh, it looks like our world champ has something to say here tonight. So close to rest of Series 5, I really am interested to see what he's going to do here. Pull your oh, skirt down, Death, your pussy showing. Uh, shut it off. Yeah, I know what you're all wondering. Yeah, uh, why do I bother? Yeah, I'm not going to do a voice for a gimmick that nobody likes anyway. <sighs> okay. You know, I've been thinking lately... Uh, I've been thinking, you know, it's Wrestle Series is coming up, and I've been here a long time, four years. You got that? Four years. That's over a thousand days I've been doing this. It took me four years to get this belt. And um, what do I get for it? Fuck all. Yeah, I've heard it all. Uh, yeah, he gets everything on a silver platter. Yeah, he kisses Seth Cameron's ass. Blah, 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 blah. All that bullshit against me. I get it. I get it. You know what? Fuck you all. Yeah, I have a memory. I remember my first days here. Before this whole situation happened 
Yeah, but remember people saying, oh, I do, and you have so much talent. But, you know, it's amazing you came along. He's like, oh, my God, what a match that was. Then the big news happens. He's friends with Seth Cameron. That's what the community started, just going, ah, oh, he's talentless. He gets handed everything on a silver platter, blah, 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 basically because I won't join the fucking circle jerk that is the fucking wrestling community here on Second Life. Suddenly, I'm a nobody. And, you know, of course, I hear all I the like rumors. Chicken. As far as I'm concerned, the wrestling community, all of you, you can fucking eat my shorts and choke on the brown stains. Yeah, and I swear, I came here with being a world champion. I tried giving it the value it deserves. And who do I have to defend this at Wrestle Series of all places? Shinja. Yeah. I'm defending against Shinja. Yeah, I've, I've stuck it out here for four fucking years in VWE. And I have to defend against the guy who changes feds more often than he changes his own fucking underwear. But that doesn't matter, right? It doesn't fucking matter to you motherfuckers, does it? The fact is that I've worked my ass off for four solid years here in VWE, loyal to the place, doing everything I can to put everybody over, and this is the fucking thanks I get. But that doesn't matter, right? I'm friends with Seth Cameron, so as far as you're concerned, I don't deserve jack shit. And Chinja here deserves everything here in VW because he's the darling of you guys. I get it. But, you know, who cares? It is what the way it is. I said it once, I'll say it one more time. The fucking community kissed my ass. I was never a part of it. And you just proven to me why. I expect this kind of shit from high school, not from grown adults. <sighs> well... Oh, I heard the rumor. Yeah. I heard the rumor. Yeah, Adun is leaving soon. <laughs> yeah, Adun's leaving soon, and Shinja is going to be a world champion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bullshit. You guys still have to put up with me for a long time, because you want to know why? No way in hell I'm dropping my belt to him. Really? I'm keeping this belt. And you guys are going to have to put up with me for a hell of a lot longer before you're rid of me. So, to everyone in the community, fuck you. Fuck you. And I'll see you at Wrestle Series. And for those of you who don't like it, Take a fucking number so you can kiss my ass. I could be wrong, but I don't think anyone wants to kiss his ass if he's got brown stains in his shorts. Just, I'm actually just, quite just happy here. I'm actually quite happy. We have a dude finally showing what he can be. Finally yeah. getting away from all that crap and actually setting up something and get rid of these fools actually in the stand. Look, all these fans have come to here to see the good guys win, and they thought that Adun would be his rep be the representative of the good guys and take down the evil forces. But guess what? He's actually come to realize shit that a lot of us have come to realize. Hmm. You well, gotta do what you to gotta do. Shit, for certain, that he had shit in his pants and apparently in his mouth as well. And so I think hey, at hey, this Keiko, point, Keiko. we should dress. Yes. He was being he was being honest and he was speaking from the heart. Oh, you Hold got on, from wait a minute. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Let you shit. Oh, now who could that be? What Ladies and gentlemen. By him. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> our VWE chairman himself, Benbe, the Hero Kirex, coming down following that explosive promo.
Hi, Mr. Chairman. This is why I said no surveillance camera. Our right, chairman looks at something to say. Let's hear what he has to say. Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the VWE. How is every single one of you doing tonight? It is a great to hear everyone out there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know that Cody keeps talking crap and talking crap and Stu keeps talking crap, uh, blah, 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 all this talking. You know what I want? I want some wrestling. I want some freaking action in this ring. And ladies and gentlemen, I can promise you that at Wrestle Series. <laughs> but that's not why I'm fully here. Tonight, I'm here to reveal what Cody's chosen main event is going to be. Because you see what happened? Cody lost his little bet that he was going to make. Thinking that either I wouldn't fight against Vince or whatever. So he'd have an easy into Wrestle Series. But you see, I have picked Cody's opponent tonight. But you see, I've also picked his partner because you see ladies and gentlemen I've decided for the main event it shouldn't just be a singles match it should be a tag team match And so, ladies and gentlemen, Cody Hooley will be teaming up with the likes of Maxwell Ryan. But, I know you're all wondering who exactly who are they going to face? Well, ladies and gentlemen, they are going to face the newest edition of Team Kirax. Can I get a big round of applause for our newest member, the trucker lawyer himself, Benja Nirvana? Oh, that seems fair. You guys get a dune and we get Benja. Oh, that's right. I, I didn't reveal his, his other opponent, the person tagging with Benja, did I? Well, hey, camera, 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 camera. I'll tell you a secret. Camera. It's me. Wow. I was not expecting that. So, why, Mr. Hooley, if you have a response to that, I'd more than welcome it. Looks like we are going to get a response here. Uh-huh, I'm being followed by that little blonde bimbo who considers herself hey. his manager. Hey, she's a wonderful woman. Yeah, who blinds wrestlers. Absolutely just wonderful. With her beauty. Not with her beauty, with her stink spray. Well, let's see how Cody responds to this. 
Plus, you got to remember, Ruby is, in fact, a Hall of Fame inductee this year. Part of that class of 2013. Part of that uh, co-chairman thing, I think. Oh, she has a pink mic. That means she's going to talk. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please shut the hell up? Cody, the floor is yours. That's banishment. Yeah, that's how I manage. Keiko, please shut the hell up. Uh, my job is to talk, so... Hush and let the man speak. the floor. It's interesting. I was sitting at the back and was expecting you to put me in a handicap match or put me up against someone with my hands tied behind my back while being blindfolded. But no. You put me in a tag team match. And you're involved in the match as well. You think by doing so that makes you more of a man? Makes you the good guy? You're a coward. You're not fooling me. I know exactly what you are. And what you are is a lying, manipulative guy who has tricked these fans by making them think you're the good guy, the hero. Stop it, Ben. Let them see for themselves who the real good guy is. Yep, you know who I'm talking about. Stuart Worf. Yay! Do you know why this amazing man trusted me in taking his place at Wrestle Series? Do you? Because I'm better than you. It's not because I'm the next World Heavyweight Champion. And it's not because I'm more of a legend than you will ever be. The simple reason is, it's because he knows how much I hate you. How much I despise you. He knows I'll beat you until you until your last breath. He knows I'll hurt you so bad you'll kiss my feet, begging me to stop. You, I'll make you bleed. I'll take out the four years of suffering you have put me through. I'll take it all out on you at rest years. And I'll do all of that while your ugly, disgusting, man-like fiancé is watching. Uh, man-like? Excuse me? I will beat you at rest series, Ben. It doesn't matter how. I, I have something planned. Trust me. And you'll never see it coming. Now, um, I kind of have a match to get ready for. And you do too. So, yeah, see you soon, rookie. Okay, right, well, um, I so there's another wrestler who doesn't know the difference between his ass and a hole in the wall, or you know, man and a woman, or you know, winner or loser, or good guy, bad guy. Exactly what yeah, he's a very intelligent man. No, he's very intelligent. I think he was spot on with his descriptions tonight. Right, right. Well, when he when he thought I was a man, I'm sure that's because he thought that death was pussy for being scared of thunder and lightning and snakes. That's probably why. I, I think that's probably why. Hey, hey. I had Sorry a traumatic childhood. childhood. Anyways, uh -huh. your childhood, you just need to go away. Anyways, folks, let's go ahead and take a break here this evening. Folks, I will run through it since you two seem to be wanting to argue. I'll let you guys bitch at each other. We would like to thank our sponsors that pay the bills so you guys can enjoy the thrills of the VWE. Please make sure you check out each of these at the front of the arena. Tyrus the Nova interviews. Do you, Tyrus the Nova interviews. Do you want to learn about your favorite wrestler? Tyrus the Nova at blogspot.com is the place to go with weekly updating a uh, weekly updating blog with a new wrestler being interviewed. Over 40 interviews already with tons of veterans in Second Life. 
Again, that's tyrusthenova.blogspot.com. Big Baby Get Like Me Animations. I don't know how he writes this. Do you ever want to fill the pan with a fill the pan with a little something something to boost your appetite and cu- and custom needs for your move sets? Then contact Derek Colt or come down to Big Baby Get Like Me Animations for the best in Japanese MMA and old school moves. So if you want the best in native animations, just get like me. Simple Desires, located at the Career Sim, is a club with nightly events and DJs, including some of your favorite wrestlers from VWE on staff. Sinful Desires is your one-stop shop for fun, dance, and music. We also have a mall featuring a variety of different shops and stores located right across from the club. Sinful Desires, your leaders in entertainment. <clears throat> if you've been looking for a way to promote yourself or place a business outside the normal means of simple ad boards or wasting your money on classifieds, if you want your products or services to be seen and heard in front of a live studio audience, as well as on demand, Virtual Inter- Wrestling Entertainment is now offering new sponsorship packages. <laughs> Sponsoring the VWE is a great way to promote your products and services as we promote you through our arena on our website, during our two weekly live shows, and, our, and on our show replays. Please feel free to contact Benja Nirvana or Jen Parkin for pricing packages, or click on one of the open ad boards locations directly above the main entrance. And see, that's how you do it. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm sure glad we had you here to do that tonight. Hey, hey, I know. It's I'm normally crazy. it's normally Keiko's job. <clears throat> hey, sorry, I had to go <sighs> over there. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's move on. That All right, folks, we'll move on to match number two. You mind if I take this, folks? Please do. Yeah. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we are moving on to match number two. Your referee in charge, Cassis Leroy. Making his way to the ring first. At six foot ten, two hundred forty pounds. Hailing from Kyoto, Japan. Please welcome Sorek. The Samurai Ono Mochi. Um, there's smoke in the ring. Just cover your face. <laughs> Jesus, why is it? This is a new thing. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen. Sirk Anamanchi, one half of your BWE Tag Team Champions. <clears throat> oh, that was a delayed cough. I had a joke, and I'm glad I didn't pursue it. But int- just go ahead and get bring out his opponent. And introducing his opponent. At 7 foot 4, 400 pounds. Hailing from Death Valley, California. Please welcome... The Rampage, Jackson Dune. Jackson is the largest athlete on our roster, right? No shit. Isn't he tied with... I'm 
Mona? Which is yes. I thought he was tied with Benja for largest. Uh, Benja, Benja. He is, Benja is 7'2", 290 pounds. Jackson is 7'4", 400. Therefore, oh, making, got it. Yeah. A, making him a fat ass. What about Ashron? Ashron's shorter. Ashron, 6'10". Oh. Oh. He, look how he just goes right over Zurich. This is not even fair. That's always what I thought when Jackson's in the ring. He just towers. But you know, when you have a big tree in front of you, the best way to take it down is to chop out the trunk from underneath it. We all know that. But he got smooth Cirk out of the ring so he could even get on the ropes to show his ass off or whatever. Anyways, this is going to be interesting. We'll see these guys, would they accept the challenge correctly? Correct uh, for the tag team championship? I know that these, that Jackson and his tag team partner are in the running for it, but I don't, I don't remember. Are they, are they going to be fighting for it at Wrestle Series 5? I can't remember. Let me check with production. All right. While she's looking, there's the sound of the bell. Zerk, not a small fry, 6'10", 240, but Jackson, he, he's, he's like two wrestlers in one. Two really heavy midgets in one. Is that what it is? And I believe Jackson, we heard the bell there. Moving across the ring and delivering a forearm to Cirque's face. Already getting started. Either way, it seems like he's got him by the hair there already. Getting control, dragging him back to the center of the ring. That didn't take long. Either way, oh, and another elbow strike. Oh, and a swift punch. I don't think... I know Cirque is a striking martial arts expert, but I don't think no man can get punched in the face that many times oh. and survive a match like this. Nice kick to the midsection. Get him, get him. Looks like... Oh, and whoa. a spinning... Whoa, spinning elbow. Catching him in the jaw. Picking him up here. I have part of Berserk. I can know how determined he is. I like how he's changed. He's, he's much more colorful. As you can tell. Oh, what is this? Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh, wrist lock, wrist lock. In a, in, into a... Uh, into some kick... Side kick to the face. Uh, let's see what's going on. Okay. I've just gotten um, confirmation that they are going championship at Wrestle Series 5. So this is just a precursor. Already probably the two main characters going into this this uh, match going one-on-one. -on -one. Who's going to grab the momentum going into Wrestle Series? Yeah, the winner of this match will definitely have a mental edge over their opponent. Opponents. And these two have a long-standing um, grudge against each other. Both of the teams just are at each other's throats, but these two apparently have a deep um, oh, long look history look going on. Oh. Yeah, their grudge is like almost three weeks. That's forever in wrestling years. I will choke you to oh, death. Uh, sh just shut up, Death. I'm just saying. Anyways, he's got him, had that wrist to jerk and I kicked in the midsection, sending him to the ropes, off the rope. Oh, God, that's a seven foot four drop kick. A yeah. 400 pound drop kick. Jesus. What the crap? That measured on the Richter scale. But Jackson going to one knee, you know that took a lot out of him, but it yeah. probably took more out of Sir. Right here, 400 pounds across the chest. Here comes the pin. One. Oh, just a one count. Sir, you can show the resilience. That's still 400 pounds across your chest, and Jackson already not liking the count.
And Cassie's getting out of the ring, not liking the fact that Jackson is all over him. Very smart. Gotta, he has to be careful. If he does too much, he'll get disqualified. Anyway, start back to his knee. Anyways, we got Jackson right here. Oh, a kick. Looked like he kneed him in the head. Rocking Surik. Surik still stumbling around here. What is this? He's got him up. Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, fall away slam. Away slam a seven foot four drop, and there's a cover one, two, almost a three. So oh, you guys, just to get the sh we have I'm to sorry. take it back. Production was wrong, these two are not going up for the title at Wrestle Series. Ah, oh, I, I was about to say, I like my new life. Either way, if Jack, well, either way. Either way, Jackson, uh, if he does pick up a win here, you got to think that's got to boost up his team in the rankings for the number one contendership for those titles. But either way, it's really just been Jackson all day long in this match. We've really been seeing matches that are just huge. straight dominance. It is a oh, oh. to not see Surik have more control over the match. Usually he's able to come back and um, with his classical moves, you know, he's able to really take, he, he can take a man as big as Jackson down. Yeah, yeah, guess what, Keiko? It's happening as you're speaking. Oh, see, that's what happens when I've got my face turned away to production. Well, see, I knew that Surik could do it. Oh my god, he's picking Jackson's leg up and kicking Anyway, sir, get get the big man down. That's what you're gonna have to do. Four hundred pounds is gonna be it's hard to take down, but once you do, you got him down for a while. He, the problem is keeping him down. He's going in for those submissions, going in for it looks like a figure four. Dead this center is of the smart. Ring. This is very smart on Zerg's part. This is exactly the kind of game plan that you use to fight somebody like this. Take him off his feet. When you're both in the ground, you're the same height. The referee checking on Jackson. Jackson screaming no, and he's able to push Zerk's boot and untangle himself. Well, okay, this is what's going to be going down at Wrestle Series. I just got word from production. There will be a inter... You know, I guess it's kind of inter-contendership. But what's going to happen is there will be four... It will be a fatal four-way style type of match with four different teams, but only one representative per team. With each team, whoever ends up picking up the win at the end will receive and hold on. Well, back to the match while he's uh, gathering everything. Sorek has Jackson on his knees, and Jackson is... Trying to, uh, you know, just get a moment to breathe. Back up, Cirque. Gosh. Whoa, time to go old school. Cirque just hitting Jackson with a flurry of kicks. And punches. He calls out the rising sun. Classic Cirque right there. Zerk making sure that Jackson stays down, giving him the boots. It's Zerk's match now, and Zerk, Zerk's last stop goes for that leg. Oh! A very well kick. done. Right to that leg, straight to that same left leg.
There's a pin. Only a two count. They had just a two count. Very, I'm surprised he got out, but he still got to do something. I really think if Serge could pick up this win, he's gonna have to win by submission here. I just don't think well, I can see him taking him down. Well, Sir, if Cirque's going to win by submission, he's laying down the groundwork. Yeah, and he's making a mistake by letting him back to his feet. Oh, see oh. It Absolutely right, Bryce. Jackson with the Irish whip. Oh, huge! Oh, 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 Blackjack! Nice flapjack planning strict not strict caught. Cedric face for, like face first on the ground. Very well done. That, not that the was wind a big momentum killer. Jackson now in control. This is not where where you want to be if you're Sorek. I almost called him the same thing. And there's a cover. One, two, no! Sorek kicking out. Jackson looking over at the ref in disgust. Or anger. Or with murderous intent. Either murderous one, intent! Murderous matter. intent! Oh, Cassius gets out of the ring here, but Jackson's got really got to be careful. Cassius could disqualify him for all this. And you know what? Usually Cassius doesn't even see people coming and gets knocked out. So I, I have to give props to him for getting the hell out of there. And seeing this coming. You know what, Cass is don't, now's not the good time to now's not a good time to say that to him. Either way, back into the match here. Surik still reeling a bit here. Jackson now getting back into Oh, but oh what is this kick in the mitts? What the hell? A Kumi kick. Good lord. He's setting up for that. This could finish the match right here. Oh no, is Is Jackson's knee giving out? No, he's on his knees because it's the Kumi kick, and he's going for it. Oh, he Muscle misses. kick missed. Jackson countering with that elbow strike. Uh-oh. Whoa, huge power bomb. Oh, that, that hurts. That could spell the end for Zurich. I mean, how do you get up from something like that? Jackson yeah, getting his know. bearings. Zurich's done it before. Anyway, Jackson's picking up Zurich. Really, I think he's just going to go in to finish this. Sending him to the row, into the corner. Not going for the pin. Oh, what is this? He to injury. Oh, oh, he caught him. Catching him with a springboard elbow drop. Caught Jackson standing. Got him down. Now what? You know, that's not enough to put Jackson out. But damn, it knocked him down. What is this? He's got him Sorry. by the hair? Start pulling him to the center of the ring. Oh, no. The referee letting him fight. Oh, oh dropping the like elbow. Get him, get him. Prepare to die. Oh, no, Cirque setting up for something. Jackson is out with all those elbows, all the strikes. He's pretty much on the ground. I don't know why he's not responding here. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Oh, no. I've seen this move before. He's call He calls that Dragon's Coil. Oh, my God. He doesn't listen. And that leg bent out of shape. Oh, God. He's in the dead center of the ring. He just got to He's got to tap. He can't reach over and unhook his 
unhook Sirk's legs. And Sirk has his has his leg and is pulling it behind folks, the human body does not bend like that. Well when you've got as much of it as Jackson Doom does, it does. Ugh. Gruesome stuff. Dead center of the ring. Jackson's got a tap. He is in the middle of nowhere. There it is. Oh he my taps. god. Did he just Jackson Dune just tapped? Jackson Dune just Jackson. tapped out of the dragon's <laughs> coil. Wow! I can't say I blame him. Mission, right? Sir Gamabuchi. Here, here, uh, yeah. Fantastic work by Sirk. And that may just knock Jackson down peg or two. Well, wow. even though they're not fighting each other at Wrestle Series, that does give him the mental edge if they ever fight again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if they ever fight again. There you go. One half of the tag team champions. I don't think I've ever seen Jackson Dune type out or uh, tag out of anything. Tap out. Tap out. Right. That's what I meant. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong. That he's also still the holder of the uh, Emperor of the Arena. Briefcase? I believe he is. Yes, sir, he is. Well, right. please, folks, as we have finally figured out what the heck is going on, this match was actually very significant. As, let's see. As we see, we have, actually, there will be four men in an intercontinental contendership match. At Wrestle Series 4 in a fatal four way, including two of the men we just saw. We will also be seeing Ash Cuervo and Vince. I forgot his last name. Easterwood, thank you. Sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry. I was looking away at production again, and I missed that. Otherwise, I would have been able to fill that in for you immediately. Yes, Vince Easterwood. Hey, Scotty. Either way, that was a great match that was just happened for us. We have Sirk and Omochi picking up a big win over a Jackson... Doing with that dragon's coil, making him tap out. Oh, oh, um. Um. I think it's only right that I announce this. Okay. And, ladies and gentlemen, we have the last Hall of Fame inductee of the class of 2013. And oh. it is. What? I said, oh, cool. It is none other than Stuart Worf. What? That's a good inductee. Uh, the man's been around with us for ages. I'm actually quite proud to see him going into our BW Hall of Fame. He has been around for God knows how long. I mean, yeah, he's a great janitor and everything, but... He is a great chairman. No, not chairman. Co-chairman, if anything. And really, he's just the janitor. All right, let me run through these ads. Okay. Go for it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to not only thank each and every one of you for being here with us tonight, we'd also like to take this time to thank our sponsors who pay the bills so you all can enjoy the thrills of the VWE. Tyrus the Nova interviews. Do you want to... Our favorite wrestler, well, TyrusTheNova.blogspot.com is the place to go. A weekly updating blog with a new wrestler being interviewed every week and over 40 interviews already with tons of veterans in SL Wrestling. TyrusTheNova.blogspot.com Big Baby Get Like Me Animations. Do you ever want to fill the pan with a little something-something? Something to boost your appetite and the custom needs of your movesets? 
Then contact Derek Call to come on down to Big Baby Get Like Me Animations for the best in Japanese MMA and old school moves. If you want the best in animations, just get like me. Sinful Desires, located at the Career Sim, is a club with nightly events and DJs, including some of your favorite wrestlers from VWE on staff. Sinful Desires is your one stop for fun, dance, music, and more. They also have a mall featuring a variety of different shops and stores located right across from the. Sinful Desires, your leaders in entertainment. And if you've been looking for a way to promote yourself or your place of business outside the normal means of simple ad boards or wasting your money on classifieds, if you want your products or services to be seen and heard in front of a live audience as well as on demand, Virtual Wrestling Entertainment is now offering new sponsorship packages. Sponsoring the VWE is a great way to promote your products and services as we promote you through our arena, on our website, during our two weekly live shows, and on our show replays. Please feel free to contact Benjamin Nirvana or Jen Parkin for pricing packages, or click on one of the open ad board locations directly above the main entrance. And with that, I think that we are ready, fellows, to roll on. I think. Debbie, why don't you recap for us what's happened so far? Debbie, stop being afraid of Jen's bag and recap for us. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> so, folks, we uh, opened up with a one on one match in the women's division. We had the addiction. Kaylani Bele Star take on the mother of snakes, Black Mamba. Black Mamba powered through the addiction and uh she also was arguing with herself keiko thinks it's a snake inside of her i don't know but black mamba was able to come through with the victory after that we had a dune snowpaw pay us a visit uh he basically told us all to go fuck ourselves and he's going to be around for a really long time to tell us that we can go fuck ourselves he said so fuck go fuck yourself. It was, it was like, it we was like a new record. Mother, mother, mother fuck, mother, mother, fuck, fuck. Yes. And then, that it was followed by, uh, Benbe, the co-chairman, came out. and no, uh, the chairman. The co-chairman came out. It says co-chairman here. The, the, the legend, the legendary hero, the co-chairman, came out to, uh, announce the main event. Uh, he said, he announced that Cody Hooley and Maxwell Ryan will be taking on the big shot, Benjamin Nirvana, and him. <laughs> the newest member of Team Kirax, ben, uh, ben Benjamin Nirvana. Yes, welcome to Benja on Team Kirax. Go blue! Alright, um... Don't give a damn for the whole state of Michigan, that's another story. Alright. <laughs> Then, after that, we had Cirque the Samurai Automochi going one on one. Oh, wait a minute. Jackson. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Why do I even bother? Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, <gasps> is that Christina Kravak? It is. That is your VWE Women's Champion, folks. Christina Krovac coming out here. And remember, this she announced on primetime this week that she was going to announce what two competitors she was going to be facing at Wrestle Series. Since, of course, Horses was suspended at that air, at the airport for some very incident that occurred. Ended up punching an old woman in the face. Now, with this announcement, we will finally get to see what two individuals will be taking on Christina for that women's championship. Here you go. Oh, oh, she met me. Here you go. She she got one from Bryce and from me. I don't think she wants your nappy old Mike. <laughs> Good old Mike. I'll get you fired for that 
at ice. I saw what you did there. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, hey. Sexual harassment lawsuit coming your way. Yay. Another thing I don't get to pay off. I got lawyers. Either way, let's see what Christina Korvac has to say. I cut it! We meet again, people bit of meatballs and spaghetti. Baba Mia. Oh boy, have I picked a fight for you tonight. Pizzeria. Oh yes, oh yes. I have hand-picked two bombshells to come in this ring to face each other and earn a shot to wrestle me for this title at Wrestle Series. Woo! I know, I'm that kind. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's get on to introducing these fine ladies. I don't have any information on that. First up, hailing from the Las Vegas Strip. <laughs> At a height of five foot six inches with a weight of Hundred and ten pounds. Wow, wow she's me. fat. I, I think that might be uh, Ivana. Oh, what the hell? Who? Ivana Russell? I don't. What the hell? Um, I guess, ladies and gentlemen, the first contender is this. New woman Ivana Russell. Hey. Um. Oh my, she's a little chunky. I. Hey, you have no no room to say anything. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway, Ivana. Anyway, Ivana Russell coming down to the ring. I. Okay, that's she said she's bringing a new talent, like talent. But. Great to have you, Ivana. But really, for but she's getting a, automatically this chance for the women's championship. All she's got to do is beat her opponent. I guarantee your opponent nice to have, to meet have you. a nice way to get through there. But I don't know what you're talking about since Bryce just called me fat. But okay, thank you. Christina says yes. You are a little lesser than me, but it's all right. All the wrong things really are really over excited. Well, it seems she's really overexcited. All she's wanted to do apparently was wrestle. So. Wow, she's uh. very excited. And her opponent. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a good one. She hails from New York, New York. Oh, Hometown, represent. At a height of God knows how much. And a weight of, I don't even know. I don't think she cares either. I, what the heck? Granny Krovac. Wait. Okay, what? now I this is a joke. I don't But you know what? It's a smart choice. About. <laughs> but guess what? It really doesn't matter. Get, these, she's got a choice. You know, Horse has already screwed up and lost her chance. You know, Christina can do whatever the hell she wants. And guess what? She's going to have these two. But I, the what, wait, wait a minute. Pause for my dad. Not her grandma. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. That's horse's music. What the hell? She's she's she suspended. Says, hey, you know no, what? no, no, no. no. I had to say music. Why is she here? This Where's security? Says, her music now. Um, 
They don't listen to me, I'm sorry. Whoa! Whoa, this is escalating too quickly for me. Okay, well, it looks like I'm getting a note here from um, <laughs> Bembe Kirax, and it doesn't say a naughty thing I think it would say. What it says is that he was presented with more details of this airplane incident, and uh, he reached the conclusion that a suspension was too harsh. Both Christina and Horses will be fined their Wrestle Series purse. He also approves of this match. Oh, that's not fair. Come on, she was suspended. She hit an old woman. Fair. She's not suspended because Christina, this is all crap. misunderstanding. Horses says, yes, I'm Christina's granny. Wait a minute. Come on, Ivana. You only got one shot. To I don't I mean, just think if Ivana, if Ivana can do this, think of the upset. What if Horses punches her and gets her hand stuck in a roll? Oh, you're just, now you need to be a star. Anyway. I'm just saying. And we have a collar elbow tie up here. Remember, folks, this is the number one contendership to face off against Christina Krovac for the VWE Women's Championship at Wrestle Series. And looks like Ivana's getting sent to the rope. Off the rope. Fucking drop kick. I think it's over, folks. Can yeah, I? it could be. Yeah, that pretty much looks like the end. If I just a drop kick, kind of are, you, are you really already doubting this woman? I'm sorry, she's breathing kind of heavy. She's yeah, it's going to so, cardiac arrest. I don't think she's getting back up from that. She's going to get up, don't worry. Horses is just taking way too much time already making that mistake. Man, she needs to do some Off laps. the ropes. Oh, oh and a fist drop. Well, see, she's just trying to restart her heart because she was afraid that she was in cardiac oh, arrest. You guys, you guys really so, need to have some sensitivity training. Well, also, we need to have some wrestlers in the ring who have training of any kind at oh, all. Got, look at her. She's got her boots person? on. She's a rookie. Uh, she's a Sending her to the ropes. Ivana's got to do something here. <laughs> Off the ropes. Oh, the clothesline! Take oh, her down! No. What I tell you? That has I, to be I, Jimmy. I, 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 honestly, I honestly did not see that coming. Wait, you, know what? you know what? You should be declared the winner. She's claiming what? she's won, and she's flipping uh, out. No, oh. that's not a win. It's not a win she until he counts down to the three, or you get a tag. It has to be but, like that. It's not. But Keiko, she's breathing heavy. She's tired. She's exhausted. Well, I can't. There's nothing I can do about. It. You have to pin the your wait, opponent. Wait a minute. You have to... going back. Oh, oh, says, Come oh on, no, Chub. Chub. Kick to the next section. Oh no, what is this? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> the ketamine. That ketamine. Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, oh. there you go. Ladies this and gentlemen, your winner and number shocking. one contender for the VW Women's Championship, Horses Morrissey. Aww. Oh. All she wanted to do was wrestle. Now she has a concussion. Well, oh no, wait a minute. Uh -oh. Oh, oh! With a high oh, heel! With a high heel! Carbon heel print. Now this is what horses deserve. She's, now she's getting, getting, getting what she deserved for hitting that old woman earlier. And taking advantage of such a lovely a young woman in the ring. Haven't you hit a woman before? Shut up. And you're a man. No one's listening so. to you. I think everyone here is listening to me. Well, what does she have in her hand? It says, is this familiar, Sydney no Bear? A what? Oh no, is that that bear that was shooting out little bears? No, it's oh my a god, a brick in it? Looks like it's with a brick! Oh, oh god! Oh my god, the humanity! Oh god, right up. Oh, whoa, Jesus. Whoa. Why is oh, it making that loud hard sound? Yes, come on, stop her. Calvin, do something. She's clubbing her in the head with a brick. Oh Calvin, my goodness. They don't pay oh. you enough for this. Shut up, Debbie. 
Well, you know what? Horses asked for this. She came down here and interrupted the number one contenders match. Did not to smart ask me. for this, and this was approved by management and the chairman. Sniper. Um. Either way, both went. Oh God. The thing. It almost thinks this is planned. Anyway, Christina. Now realizing what the heck's going on. Getting out of the ring, leaving horses and a pile of horse crap. Pardon the pun. But it's damage a pile is done. Of horse crap, maybe. She's got one week to recover, and Christina will be facing off against horses Morrissey. It's the Wrestle Series. See you there. Don't be a bully. Be a star. Show tolerance and respect. Wow. That was ridiculous. And oh, now wow. Calvin, oh, she's probably she probably hears that every day, Calvin. Oh, oh my God. He said, what up, you, you gotta go, you're taking up the ring. The whole ring. Oh, my. <laughs> Woo. Ivana says she doesn't want to go to school. I don't think that she even knows where she is. I don't think that they were bullying. Either way, the match is set up for Wrestle Series, and this bad blood is finally going to come ahead at Wrestle Series. Remember, folks, that is Calvin, this, why don't this you coming pick her up? Which is this coming Friday, December 13th at 4 p.m. SLT. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with that, I'm actually quite interested to see that and see horses get her face that busted in. Come on, Calvin, just pick her up. You can do it. You're you're strong enough. Come on. Oh, come on. Are you, what are you afraid of, big baby? There you go, Ivana. There's stage. You just go help yourself, honey. Nice try, Ivana, but she, after that match, we folks, that was quite a one-sided match, but the ending was more important. The ending was more cheating by Christina Krovac. Shocking. I mean, you know, he's a big, strong ref. He can't pick her up. I'm shocked by that. Yeah. And anyway, as you know, I've been coached to have more sensitivity, so... You better have, because that was just mean the entire show. You should be ashamed of <sighs> yourself. Oh, Anyways, let's God. get on with talking? this show. Let's get on with the show here, folks. I know we've had a great show, and... Oh, not again. Oh, yes. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. The VWE co-chairman himself. Oh, Jesus, God. Stuart. Dwarf. Things are Apparently, about to pick up here. he did take a private jet. He took Stuart Wharf's private jet. Paid for, ladies and gentlemen, by funds from the VWE. Ugh. Stand up and clap for the co-chairman. Come on. For the janitor? No thanks. He decided to take this company and put it on his shoulders. And he stood up to the likes of Ben Bay Kirax. It's a pleasure to meet you again, Stuart. What? Good to see you again. Ever. And in his first ever wrestling match, he won. He cheated. He like never even wrestled. wrestled. Like the yellow-bellied cheating coward that he is. And don't Trying, forget. Stealing, manipulating. 
son of a bitch that he is. And don't forget, he is the final inductee into the 23 class, uh, class of 2013 VW Hall of Fame. Disgusting excuse for a human. <laughs> You're talking. I am. Ah, yeah, thank you. Anyways, there seems to be a couple items being set up in here. Looks like... We have a table here. It looks like we're going to have something. Thank you all, thank you all, thank you all. But, you know, as much as I'd like to, you know, go on about how my Hall of Fame induction is great and everything, it's time for business. And the business at hand right now is V contract signing for the match between Derek Colt and Broly Blackheart. So, without further delay, I'd like to first invite out to the ring Derek Colt. Oh boy. Big Baby himself coming down to the ring. Our current BWE International Champion, Derek Colt, is now joining us. The Big Baby Counter is in effect. Whoa, wait a minute. Why is Bimbe coming out? Oh, wait. Now I remember. If I were you two, this is going to be an interesting, this is very hostile environment right now. Alright, shut this music off, no one cares about this song, and Ben, what an unexpected surprise. Don't you have a match to prepare for or something? Anyway. You see, Stu, you forget that <coughs> there is a co with your chairman title, as there is with mine, but you see, True. I'm not here just for myself. I'm here for my wrestlers. I'm here for the wrestlers too. I just figured you'd be busy preparing for the match of your life tonight. Just like you should be preparing next week. Anyway, without further delay, his opponent next week, Broly Blackcott. Come on everyone, give him a big round of applause. Come on. Hmm, this is good. Broly Blackheart has been, uh, pretty involved in Derek's business as of late, but as Derek has as well. This is going to be a straight grudge match. Now to decide what is going to go down at this match.
Now, before we sign this contract, we should go over some conditions that were added to the contract. Don't you believe, Mr. Ward? Yes. Okay, so, as you know, um, me and the legal team, Ben, we looked over this contract, and we decided to add in some extra clauses. Now, I should point out the clauses that were added are now ironclad. Uh, contract's been finalized. Both sides lawyers have seen it, so not really much room for negotiation here. Uh, unfortunately, then this means you're kind of locked out of any last-minute changes. I'm sorry about that. You know, ju I just wanted to make sure no favoritism, for example, was played out in this match. I know how you like to discuss things with people like Calvin, so uh, you know. Let's just say, heaven forbid, during the match. Calvin does a fast count or something, he'll be suspended for 30 days, for example. That's one of the clauses. But the most important clause added to this match is that this match is now a Texas Bull Rope Tables match. So the count thing wouldn't matter anyway. So basically, this rule means that the only way someone can win is by touching all four corners in the match and then pulling their opponent through a table. Any questions? Do I want to talk about your claws anymore? Anything like that? Nope, I'm all good on my end. Any questions, Mr. Colt? Well, I agree with that idea. Because one way or another, I'm going to knock your ass out. You understand what I'm saying, big baby? I'm getting sick and tired of all your bitching and whining and complaining. And you can you can complain to the management all you want, big baby, because when it comes down to it, on December the 3rd, 13th, when you step in this ring, you better have your jaw readjusted. You better check your teeth because that jaw is going to be scattered all over the ring. When I get done with you, and I'm gonna leave out of here with this international belt, and you can choke on your ribs on that, big baby. <laughs> Derek Colt at Wrestle Series. Not only am I going to leave you bloody in the middle of the ring, putting through the table, but I am going to remind the belt in the crowd exactly. Who is the top when the student surpasses the trainer? And let me also generate one thing. When it comes to business deals like this, money is power. <laughs> well, All right. Oh. Gentlemen, if you both want to look over the document, then sign... I'd highly recommend doing so at this point in time. Seems Brawley has signed his in. Now it's up to the international champion to make this title match official. Oh, and one more thing, Derek. <laughs> Just remember when I'm taking your title home at Wrestle Series, that I'm the guy who beat your bald ass all over the place. I want to see you try right now. Oh no. Oh, this could get explosive. Why don't you get your ass over here and try it? Wait, what? You guys aren't supposed to cover right a matchup. We can do this right right now, big babe. Come on now. Fight! Oh uh, boy, we're going to see it right. Fight. We're going to see best of series right now. Stuart wisely getting out of the ring. Stuart's getting out of the ring. That pretty face of yours. Chicken shit. I'm going to concuss with my kicks and elbows across that pretty face of your big baby and that ball hit that head you you call wherever you call it 
I'm just going to kick it like a football. Out of the ocean, big baby. Just like that. Oh! oh I challenge you to a duel. <gasps> oh! Oh, no. Kick to the midsection. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Oh, he power bombed through the table. Oh, my God. Derek Cole has already struck, made the first blow. Just think if Derek Colt touches all four corners and then p puts Brawley through that table, he will retain his international championship. Shades of Wrestle Series, guys? I don't know. I'll see you at Wrestle Series, big baby. I, I can't agree. He didn't touch all four corners. I said it's Shades. Dumb dog. Wow. Hell, I'm not even that well. dumb. I don't think that that was supposed to go down like that. Probably backfired a little bit on Brawley. You're going to instigate a bit. But anyways, that Brawley now... Our janitor walked out of the ring without any injuries, and that, that disappoints me. And you ruined his suit. Time, Come on now. The last time Brawley was in a match at Wrestle Series, someone died. Oh, Just let that they sink in. did. They did. What? TJ. TJ Tyler died at the last Wrestle Series with Bully. I must have. I must have forgot about that. I was too busy with my match. I know how easy it is to forget about a death. <laughs> Yeah, we just Either left the way, there because we didn't have a janitor back then, but we have one now, so it's okay. Yeah. Either way, folks, let's get on to the third match of this evening, and it is going to be for the VWE Women's International Championship. Woo! Introducing first, let's go with the challenger. What he means is, this is for a championship, make some noise! Ladies and gentlemen, the challenger from Houston, Texas, weighing in, in tonight at 122 pounds, standing at a height of 5 feet 6 inches. This is the wild child, Vendetta. Yeah, Veteran this can of be this better ring. Than that. We like it loud. Come on, this is Vendetta. Come on, make some noise. Let it roar! Oh, well, she's making noise. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring out her opponent. Her opponent. From Jacksonville, Florida, standing at a height of 5 feet 7 inches, weighing in it tonight at 130 pounds. She is the VW Women's International Champion, Hillary Lanfear. You know what? Something just... I just thought of something. I think Ivana Russell was lying about her weight. How does she weigh 110 pounds? No weight in hell. Christina Krak said she weighed 210 pounds. Oh, I thought she said 110. No. Okay. Is he being dumb again? 
I thought I heard something else. Here have voices. Either way, folks, this is a match scheduled for one fall and for the VW International Championship. So close to Wrestle Series 5. I'm actually surprised here. And this is a fantastic match because both of these women are so talented that it's it's anyone's guess who's going to come up for you. I still think Ivana was lying. She was probably more like 280. I mean, you got to think, folks, with Wrestle Series 5 coming up just next week and the Women's International title all going to be on the line there as well, this is a humongous match that will affect Wrestle Series. Will Hillary continue to go into Wrestle Series 5 or will Vendetta? And whoever wins this match, of course, folks, will go into Wrestle Series to take part in the WWE International Women's International title ladder match against m many other opponents. The names we are not given. Yes. Oh! Look at Vendetta starting that off, coming across the ring with a double drop kick to the face, knocking Hillary back onto the tarmac. Whoa! Shooting star Oh, press. Jesus! That was Ouch. quick. And I'm just getting word, folks, that the others in that match will be the likes of Maxine. Maxine, oh God, Maxine, the simply devilish Maxine, Allison Dark Dane, Dutch. and Rhea. Rhea Kurihara. Rhea Kurihara. <sighs> I got Rikuri, huh? Potato, potato. Oh, look right here. She's her back against the table. Oh, God, guys. You made me move oh, back. My. Shit. I'm getting moving back. Jesus. You're going to get blood and saliva all over our nice pizza. Here, move. Move, Keiko. You might want to. I, I'm not afraid. Oh, I'm afraid hurt. of his hat, too. Anyways, Vendetta already in that quick control with these huge high-flying moves already using the exterior as a weapon. Watch out, yeah, Cam Kitty. I think I'm going to pass on that pizza because it is probably contaminated at this point. Oh! I've been eating this. Well, you should probably stop oh, now. See, and, oh, into the oh! stairs! Wow, Vendetta is on a roll, folks. Vendetta getting momentum early. Vendetta picking up Hillary, our champion, is against the ropes and already early in this seven. match. Remember, Eight. this is the champion's advantage. If Vendetta gets if Vendetta gets counted out, or Hillary gets counted out, or does either, if either one are disqualified, Hillary automatically retains that title. Vendetta has to pin or submit her. In short. Now I'm going to sit back down. Okay. You're not allowed to sit, Daddy. I told okay. you that it wouldn't hurt us. But you said a piece. She might hurt Hillary, Hillary, though. Oh, she's standing on her throat here. The rest gotta start counting something. I don't think "Hey, get off" is a number. No, that's oh, not into a leg drop. Oh, and all that was just a one. All that was just a one, but either way, the damage is done. Hillary is now as flat on her back. Uh oh, we may have a snipe. Anyway, taking her down. Yeah, that's a snipe. Champion. Never mind. No, it's not. my ass. And picking her up. Sending her right across. Hillary has just not been able to get going from the beginning. And it looks like Vendetta is setting something up here. Oh, and rolling out of the way! Vendetta gets a mouthful of turnbuckle.
Oh no, if Vendetta turns around and Hillary's scooting back. Oh hell, and there's the scream. Hillary wisely getting out of the ring. Not something that we've seen Hillary do a lot of here lately. Seeing her back oh, up. Oh no. And... Oh, she's playing possum. She's caught her and she got her hung up on the top. Oh. Row. Oh. Wow. Hillary coming back, and that is more what I expect to see from Hillary Lanfear. It looks, I mean, you gotta think, they're gonna put everything on the line for this women's championship. This is a shot already. Look at her, she's just, oh, looking for a pin here? I don't, I don't know what this is. Just she's, basically rubbing her foot I, on her chest. Oh, the ground stop. Oh. I think the oh, it was on her neck. Tell her to break. Yeah, it was. It was on the neck, and I think she was. Oh, tit for tat. Vendetta did well, it. True, that's true. So it's not Hillary's fault. Hillary's just following with the rules, the laws of the jungle. Well, it's kind of still against the rules, though. Well, you should have told Vendetta that this crowd has already been all behind Vendetta. You know what? Hillary's a deserving champion. Right. Either way, it looks like our champion is finally back in advantage here. It was all Vendetta for a long time, and everything really changed after that bounce and th when she missed going into the corner. You know, and then also the getting caught up on the top rope. Playing possum Hillary, getting a hold of Vendetta. I think we can expect to see this match kind of start to fly here as these ladies really go at each other. And now that Hillary has got cards on the table and we can see that she's full steam ahead and she's not at all afraid of Vendetta I think that she's going to really go for it Vendetta on the other hand does not she's not afraid of pain so it's not like uh, she's just going to lay around and let Hillary beat her she'll get up and she'll fight back so Getting a pickup here, getting that front face face lock. Game talk. Bringing her <laughs> over to the middle ropes. Sorry, you look too good. Oh, 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 okay, good. Yeah, and looks like, oh, oh she's got her by the hair. Oh, oh, her oh, 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 oh. Oh, a Not surfboard exactly outside the ropes. the cleanest move. It's, it's wrenching her neck back, extending her back. Yeah, the, she's got to kind of fight to break, but she's going to utilize that for her smartly. She Hillary breaks it for it before we get disqualified. Again. Oh! Prepare to die. I don't know what that was. Insult to injury is what it looked like to me. Yeah, caught the inside of her leg, knocked her down on her knee. And then a swift kick to her back, knocking Vendetta all the way down. Calvin was close. He saw that it was head against the inner thigh. This is very, very close to a DQ. Anyway, she's got her by her hair. Dragging to the center of the ring. That's good ring awareness on her part. Oh, what is this? Oh, getting caught. Oh! oh! Metal Vetters came out with a mule kick and a bra punch. More than one bra punch. Going after it. Going after the head of Hillary. I like everyone. Anyways, again, folks, if you have just joined us, this is for the VWE Inter Women's International Championship. And with Wrestle Series so close, the winner of this will be will win. Will of course walk in with the title, but they'll be in a a Women's International la Title Ladder Match against people against Maxine, Allison Dane, and Rhea. Rhea Kriyara. You know what? I don't care. Re Kriha. Re Ria Ching Chang. Anyways, no. back into the middle of the ring. Oh. And we got a pin here. Oh, just a two count. Vendetta kicking out. Picking it up in the mid center of the ring. Oh, a good swift kick to the midsection. Hillary still trying to get back that control. Oh! 
Oh, wait a minute, she caught it? Yeah, Hillary going for that super kick. No, Vendetta caught it. Oh, and the Lariat. Man, about took her head off. Just think, folks, if this is the type of matches we're going to be having here, think about Wrestle Series. Yeah, seriously. Both women trying looks to like get Hillary's up. Hillary's getting. Oh no, Hillary's back down. She was trying to get up there. The ref is counting because both are down. No, Hillary's going to try it again. Yeah, they got to the count of 10 to get up. Remember, the champion's advantage, like I stated earlier. Still down, the ref's up to five. Both women starting to get up now. Both women hurt. They've already gone through a lot already in this match. And here oh. we go back with those punches. And dead of the first one to her feet, getting the advantage. You know, if it works for you, use it. Yeah, it looks like, oh, went for a clothesline, missed. Vendetta rolled under off the other side of the rope. And coming. Caught her with the oh! big boot. <laughs> Showing the athleticism. Once again, Vendetta very much in charge of this match. And sitting here to the corner. It's really been back and forth. You started out with Vendetta, then Hillary really took advantage. Now it's really back and forth. It's really going to come down to who makes the mistake first. Mm-hmm. Or the biggest mistake. Here's an incoming Vendetta. Oh, and a good kick to the... Whoa, hold on. That was close. Another kick, I guess, tit for tat. Sending, but now, whoa, well, that's illegal. Oh, 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 oh right away from the outside. The rope. And when it got her let go, but now it's the corner knee strike. She's really going after her now. Can't, yeah, Calvin is not, really got to separate him. She's up to a four count. She's backing away. She's let her out of the corner. Oh, he's setting up. What is this? Oh, oh! Oh, wait a minute. Overcom, she flipped it. She went for the super hooker one. I got caught with the sunset flip. One, two, and oh, she kicks out. So close. Wow, that could have been it right there. That completely did not go the way Vendetta wanted it to, and now the champion is back in, at, in advantage. Got a front face lock here. If you have yeah, and she's going to use it, too. She's going to use that full advantage. Once again, her ring awareness leading Vendetta into the center of the ring. Yeah, back in, yeah right. Back into the center of that ring. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, oh, she went for... And a spine buster. That red high was counted into a spine buster. She attempted to go for that finisher of hers. The run he but it got reversed into a spine buster, folks. That could have been it right there. Vendetta escapes merely with just a little little scare right there. Anyways, back into the match. Vendetta still in full con now back in control over Hillary. Almost like I said, almost losing the match earlier. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, sending her to the ropes. Back into that turnbuckle, back against the, the turnbuckle, that's pain. Hillary backing up. Oh, she's making sure she gets full force. Well done. This is our champion going in, going in. What's it going to be? Oh, she's going for a spear. Oh, but she missed! Oh, wait a minute! They're going for the flip-out! Oh, she held the ropes! 
There was Jillian nothing held on to the ropes. She went for the flip out. Hillary held on to the ropes as she was going around. Vendetta smashed her own head on the ground. What is now what? Vendetta's dizzy. Oh, wait a minute. And the run high. Oh. And that but should be it. And three, ladies and gentlemen. Here is your winner by pinfall and still your BWE Women's International Champion, Hillary Lanfear. champ wow I honestly couldn't have guessed which way that was going to go but once again Hillary does manage to hold on to her belt but now we know who is who is going in as champion to wrestle series 5 in that VW Women's International title match that will be a ladder match as she will be facing on the likes of Maxine Darkwatch, Allison Dane, and Rhea Kuaha. Vendetta just short. All right, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, let's get going on to your main event of the evening. Absolutely. We'll send Duffy into the ring to announce it big boy style, and uh, maybe he'll get stomped on in his way out. Who knows? Who knows? What is he doing? What? <laughs> Thank you. 
Me, 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 me. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Ladies and... Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is your main event. Now, I have one question for you. Are you ready for what's about to come? I will take that as a yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VWE Edge, and this is your main event of the evening. This is a tag team match, and it is for one fall. Your referee for tonight, Calvin Dune. And introducing first, one hails from Los Angeles, California, the other from the high rise towers in Dallas, yeah, yeah. Texas. At a combined weight of 548 pounds, they are. The hero, Ben Ben Kirax, and the big shot, Benja Nirvana. Please welcome Team Kirax. Introducing their opponents. One hails from Toronto, Canada. The other hails from Orlando, Florida. Please welcome the code Cody Holy and Maxwell Ryan. Referee check, wrestlers check. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Shut up. Death, I told you to stop getting hypnotized. They keep making you bark like a dog. And there is the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Our main event for this last edge going into Wrestle Series 5 is underway. In the ring, we'll have Benja and the coachster himself, Cody Hooley, starting off this match. You can just tell the height advantage is completely unfair. Oh, it's not unfair. Cody says that, you know, he's the best, that he can win against everyone, that he should have, you know, everything that this Fed has to offer because he's the best he thing in it. So. He didn't get a chance to prepare thoroughly. He right. was just He's suddenly spun on for by this. How many years has he been preparing? Anyways, here we go into a lockup. And if you mean preparing his fingernails to claw at Benja's eyes, which is his perpetual move, yeah. the thing that he always does, I'm sure that he washed his hands before well, this. Well, he could be, you know, going at them ribs, but that's a whole other story anyways oh trying to get those wrist locks and hammer locks went to that side headlock and benjo was having none of it i got a boner cody and benja did face off before at the 2012 beach brawl for the world title yes i think i was there i believe you were it was 2012, 
That was last year. I was not there for last year's. I was there for this year's. I wasn't there for this year's. Not cool that Maxwell is in the corner taunting Benja, and it seems to be working, but Cody says, uh, or no, Benja says, Cody, newsflash, I'm too big for this shit. Anyway, oh! getting shoved down again. Now, Cody, you see the resiliency. He's going straight back into it, going after the arms. A great wrist lock there. Yeah, nothing terribly impressive by Cody. There never is. Why don't you just hush and be unbiased? Um, no. No, yeah. thank you. No, thank you. You hush too, Deathy. Either I way... I can help it if I always root for the people who don't cheat, who, fess who wrestle and with honor an and dignity. And don't uh, claw people's eyes out, or cheat, or she means she always roots for the losers. Or... Basically, no. it was an inverted atomic dro atomic drop there. You keep thinking that, Debbie. We'll see what happens. Nicely done by Benja. Cody if is holding guys... family jewels. Maybe no kids for a while. I don't know. Well, if you think about it, you know, there's a fact that all these men have held gold in some form or another in the wrestling world, though Cody is still looking for his first world title. Oh, poor Cody. I'm sure he'll get it someday. When he learns to he wrestle. He says it won't be soon. Anyways, ben Benja completely whiffing going into that corner. Swing and a miss. Cody now, going to capitalize. Bembe trying to get Benja out of the corner. With oh, his now voice. Before Benja takes some damage, yes, with his voice, because he's an honorable wrestler, so he's not going to cheat and those cut in there when he hasn't been tagged. There's punches to the gut doing some damage. Anyway, going back up for the, uh, going up for ten punches again. Really just wailing down. Calvin starting to count. Didn't Up he just the start the three. count? How did that get restarted? He he backed out of the corner. Oh, oh okay. but Benja didn't seem to be too <laughs> fan by that and didn't like that. <laughs> tell him what the rest is again, Benja. You're laughing a little too hard. I, it wasn't that funny. It's it's really funny. Tell him what the lesson is again. Oh, Cody, Benja's too big for this shit. And by shit, he means you. Cody's struggling to get up. Not even making it to his feet. Either way, I mean, Cody has been going at it, but he just... Benja's just been in control. Benja allowing Cody to use him like a tree to climb up. No, doesn't work. I think Benja, his pants are just too slippery. Probably. Probably. That or Cody's getting his ass beat. One or the other. Oh, that last clothesline turned him inside out. <laughs> Benja says, boom. Adding sound effects. It's more fun that way. Looks at both, man. I, it's just Cody's in there. He's got to get a tag. He's in a desperate Ooh. need right now. Yeah. Oh, I just kind of noticed once. Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, I I see it too. Looks like Maxwell's wearing a "Don't Tase Me, Bro" shirt. Remember that Maxwell had the cops tase Benja when they arrested him for assault, quote-unquote, oh! uh, which he was released from, but uh, it still happened. Both men down on the ground. Both men probably really, really in need of a tag here. 
Ninja's still going at it, though. Instead of going for the tag, he goes for the Irish whip. Into the turnbuckle. Then just says, let's go up, shall we? Does I don't think he can respond, How about we don't? How about we don't go up? Ask How about we just stay on the ground? That's a 7 foot 2 drop added to that corner. Oh god, wait a second. Nuh-uh. That's added. That's like a story drop. That's no. fuck it. Oh, oh god. No. <laughs> and the death of the ring, but who got the worst of it? I'm going to have to say oh. Cody. Yeah, I think Cody for sure. <laughs> Both men reaching for the tag. For the tag. You're in the match, damn it. Both men slowly, slowly on their way to get the tag. And it looks like he's up. And Benton Bay makes the tag. Over to Maxwell. It looks like Maxwell makes the tag. Now we have Ben Bay and Maxwell in the ring. Maxwell very confident saying, I can take it from here. Uh huh. Ben says, come on, Max, let's see what you've got. Into a collarable tie-up. This is an interesting a legend against a uh, man I'm still learning about. Ben just says, if you can, please tie me. I want a piece of this guy. Well, you gotta think. All the history between Benja and Maxwell. Oh, I went to a hammerlock. Come on, Ben. My hair gel. Really, Benji, you know how much I care for. <laughs> Ben talks to me. He says, how am I going to get out of this, I wonder? Oh, I guess he figured it out. Yeah. It's a legend. You got to think. He knows everything. Yes, he Off does. Off the ropes. Except so how to stay retired. How to what? What? Nothing. I'll tell you later. Uh-huh. It's x-rated. Oh! oh, drop kick taking Maxwell down. <laughs> ben is now taking his turn to taunt Maxwell and, and remind him that their match, the match that he tried to back out of, is in a cage. Him and Benja in a cage. He doesn't that want Maxwell to good. forget that for a moment. You see, you don't say anything about oh, time, spine but busted. Benja does it. That was Maxwell. Benja saying that. Maxwell getting quickly out of whatever just happened, and Ben Bay getting flattened on his back with a spine buster. Cody, you see, is still recovering. So is ben ba Benja. God. Ben squared. Come on, Especially Ben. Call it ben Anyways, ben sending squared. him to the okay. rope. No. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Slips around. German suplex. Oh! Oh, that was awesome. Unbiased commentary. How does that feel, Maxwell? Feel kind of like getting All paid? Right. Ruby, come uh, slap her. I'm biased. All right. No, I'm, I'm neutral. I'm neutral. I'm sorry. Neutral. Bembo says, you see, neutral. you forgot something. I've taken down better. Anyways, uh, Ben Bay may be overlooking Maxwell here. One thing you don't uh, want to do is underestimate your opponent. Ben's are taking a moment to say happy birthday to our boss, Jen Parkin. Wait, it is her birthday? It is her birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, look at this, look on. at this, look at this! Anyways, into the middle oh, of the ring, figure four. four! Oh my god, Benja. Benja. That's enough of that. Anyways, back in the middle of the ring, we have a figure four leg up. Dead center of the ring. Maxwell trying to get out. Looks like he's trying Ricky's, to pull to the ropes, maybe. Yeah. Pull to the ropes, get that count to break. Get him to break, because I know Bimbe is not smart enough to actually hold the count. And he gets the break. What? Anyways, into the corner. He has to break the hold. 
Should have held on to it, but no. He let go as he's supposed to because he got Idiot. to the ropes. Anyways. That is honorable wrestling. It's stupid wrestling in my idea. It's not Anyways. stupid. It's honorable. He's following the rules because he doesn't need to cheat to get a win. And let that be a lesson to you. Hey, if I get a win, I get a win. Don't matter how I do it. Anyways. Like yes, Benja. If you're not cheating, Back. you're not trying. Thank you. But Maxwell, got to he's got to find a way to catch up with Bimbe. Bimbe's got all the experience. And Maxwell, he's trying, but it just seems everything he does, it just, you know, just doesn't work. Oh! Careful with the right face punch. there, Maxwell. The man with two first names. He's being careful. He's carefully punching him in the face. Shut up, Death. Yeah, he's going to town messing up that little oh my God. hairman face. Get at him, Maxwell. Mess that little face up. Would you shut the hell up? Hey, I'm doing... You're biased. I'm being biased. So why don't you just sit and look pretty and let me do the job of a real person? Oh, 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 yeah, I am, you jackass. Why don't you just stay off his face and concentrate on wrestling instead of punching? It's not Keiko, a street Keiko. ball. Keiko, I know we need a woman at commentary, but calm your hormones. Come on. Yes, my I mean, just, just calm down. Anyways, Bembe is racked in the corner here. Maxwell's looking. He's almost just taking his time a little bit. Not smart. But anyways, setting him up in the corner. And some knee Ooh. strikes to the midsection. <gasps> oh! And Bimbe is racked and down into the floor here. Bimbe is in a lot of trouble. Looks like Maxwell has full good advantage here. You see Cody and Bimja look like they're fully getting recovered and come back in this match at any time. Right now, Maxwell looks good on his feet. Come on, Ben. You can do it. Maxwell, a little bit of a uh, showboating right now. He is gaining energy from the crowd. Well, they're all booing him. He's basically boos booze and hisses. Here comes Maxwell's working. Hey, it's better to be booed than not noticed at all. Oh my God! No, that's illegal. Break there it he up. is. Corner foot choke, shoving his face foot down through the throat. His throat choking him. He's got a count of five to break it, holding it to the count of four. So smart. Maxwell I mean, doing I mean, some damage. Where else can you people. beat up that your boss people. and get away with it? I know, right? Only in the VWE ring. Anyways, it looks like uh, either way. That Maxwell, is not legal. He should be disqualified. Disqualified. Calm down, calm down, you little god, you're a little fangirl. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Little fangirl, I mean, what is your, why do you like him so much? I mean, you can have me so much more manly than this guy. No, listen, he is the legendary hero. He has been here all along. He fights with honor. He will bring honor to the VWE. So you, sir, can just <laughs> shut your face hole. Oh, when has there ever been honor? It's all about who gets to the top and who holds those titles. It doesn't matter how you get them. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Arm drag takedown. And Bimbe taking him up and over. Maxwell flat on his back. That's showing the experience of Bimbe. He can take blows. I gotta admit, that was a nice veteran move, turning Maxwell's offense into, uh, against them. Excuse offense. Me. Offense. Yeah, turning offense. his offense. Yeah, turning his... Yeah, Just I, shut I, up, Wow. Baby. It sounded awesome in my head. Just filter it. Everyone gets one, Benja. Everyone gets Either way, it doesn't matter. I agree with Ruby. Anyways, Maxwell's getting up. Benbe is stalking behind him. Kick oh. to the midsection. Didn't last too long. 
He's got this. He's got this. You've got this. Ben just lost his mind. Anyways, back into a collar elbow tie up. This has been going on for pretty much. You have it. It's just been more brawling, and I guess you would say trying to one up and shit. And Ben Bay getting his ass kicked like that. No. Oh, wait, no. Wait for the spine buster. No. Come on. Snap suplex. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Once again, Ben Bay getting loose and catching the the un. I don't know what to call him. I don't want to call him a rookie because he's not. The young gun catching him. The loser. Yeah. Yeah. He's losing. He's a young gun who is in the ring competing against. Uh. I wouldn't say sell out. Uh, but... you should stop speaking altogether now. Nah. Anyways, Maxwell getting caught with that snap suplex back into another collar, collar elbow tie up. God, say that five times fast. Anyways, oh, getting sent to the... Come on, come on, come on. Sending Maxwell to the ropes. Off the ropes, coming back. What you gonna oh, do? he catches him oh, with a big boy. No! Right into that, that uh, chairman face of his. Chair I way. swear he's, to God, if you uh, he's got a feel hair great. on his face, I will I think he's done that you. many. <laughs> yeah, that I will with punches. You. Oh, wait a minute. He's picking him up here. He's got advantage here. He's trying to think. He's got him up. What is he going to do here? He's he's running out of ways to destroy him. He really hasn't been destroying him. After the show. Oh, what is this? Oh, wait, whoa! whoa. Sweet what is this? Jesus. Choke slam! Oh! Caught him by the throat and threw him down. I gotta oh. say, this is very entertaining. Can Maxwell Shut pull up. off an upset and pin Ben down? In for the cover. No, no, Ninja's coming no, in the ring trying to stop it. Two. Yes. Oh, oh, thank you, Benja. Now that's illegal. That's illegal. That's Throw not illegal at all. It was fine. It's fine. I'm not a hypocrite. He, uh, so he's illegal. Not, he has now he broke up the that. count. What was that you said before? If you're not cheating, you're not winning. There's nothing. No, no. Winning. I said if you're not cheating, you're not trying. See, there you tried. Go. Either way, Benja just went cold and dirty. So much for that honor. That wasn't Bembe. Just Yay. breaking the rules. It was Yay. Benja. So yeah, I said Benja. You know what? If Benbe really had honor, he would forfeit the match because he should have lost. Maxwell now. and Benja jawing at each other. Wait a minute, Benbe standing up. Maxwell has his back turned to him. Benja pointing behind him. Maxwell spinning around. Mm-hmm. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! No! 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 <laughs> Kick to the midsection. Oh, wait a minute. I know what he's going for here. He's going for the heroic DDT. Oh, oh no. and Alan, there it is. Oh, yes. He popped up, but <laughs> in comes Cody. Oh, no. No, Ben, look behind you. Ben. 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 Oh. oh. Both legal men laying yeah, on the ground. I was talking to myself, but damn. Anyways, they cut my mic. Anyways, now Benja's coming in to do something about Cody. Ben Benja clearly violating a rule here. Cody's getting back into his corner, but look, hey, the ref's a little distracted here. Not anybody with with illegal substances. Cody getting backing up into the corner trying to figure out what's going on here. Maxwell to his feet. And Benja. Hey, wait a minute. Maxwell coming up behind Benja. And here. Oh, uh oh. It's breaking down. Oh my god. What's happening? It's it's breaking down. The rest losing control of this match. Both men are going back and forth. Cody no. going after Ben Ben. No, 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 no. No. The ref's trying to regain control of this match. He's doing one hell of a job. Yeah, he doesn't have much. I don't know what he's doing. He's trying everything. He's Cody's got Ben Bay locked up into the corner. He's sending him to now. Ben just sending Maxwell into the ropes. 
Benbe is still caught up on those back ropes here. And, and Benja, uh, oh! Oh! Benja up and over that top rope. Now it's just Cody. On, Cody and... Oh, but he sends <laughs> Cody up and over! <sighs> Cody lands on I, his back. Benbe and Benja really are the last two men standing right now. Ruby checking on Cody. I Maxwell. believe the legal men are uh, Benbe and Maxwell, He's, right? Uh, yeah, Benbe and Maxwell, but com they've completely lost control of this match. What? 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 Benbe saying you're not going to get away that easily. Benbe going outside the ring here. Both of the whole thing is going crazy. The ref's starting to count. The ref needs to get control of this match. Oh, and an eye rake! An eye rake to Ben Bay, and now Cody's got control no! of both. And Benja and Maxwell are brawling up the ramp. These square punches. Oh, and Ben Bay starts fighting back. Ref's got a count of three. A shot to Maxwell. Yes! That's it, Ben. That's it. Come back, come back! This is like complete mayhem, folks. This is the last edge before West Seat, and the ref can't even get control of this match. Our main event has gone haywire. It doesn't look... The legal men are outside the ring. The ref's up to a count of five, six. Maxwell and Benja are going up the ramp. Oh, kick to the midsection. Cody's got... Now he's got a lock up. Now both men are just going at it. They have nothing. They have a count of eight. If it gets a count of ten, this match is over. I don't have to get her. Oh, uh, to the you count of nine God. here. I think this match is going to end, ben, folks. Ben, back in the ring. And that's the count of 10. No. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a no contest. Both by double count out. He's trying to stop it. Bullshit. I don't think they care. I really don't think they care either. Now the Calvin trying to get out there to stop this. Both men going, to, going at it. Looks like we've already lost Benja and Maxwell. Ladies and gentlemen, it is breaking down. We're only a week away from Wrestle Series 5. If this is just a taste of what the bad blood will be going into Wrestle Series 5, I can't wait for the show. Come on, Ben. Get knock him down so you can get away. So you can go backstage. Just knock him over. As they brought to the backstage, Cody and Ben Cody and ben Bay going right at it. I don't even I don't even know what happened to Maxwell and uh, Maxwell and Benja, but both men brawling up the ramp. Benbe getting a little bit the worse here. Oh, and an uppercut <gasps> taking yes! Cody off his feet. <laughs> it only oh, was a She did not Cody back into Ruby. No. Oh. Come on, Ben. <laughs> he's cheating. He's doing different types of punches. He's not cheating at all. With both men going to the back, folks, we are only a week away from Wrestle Series Five, December thirteenth, four p.m. SLT this Friday, just outside of this arena, folks. If you please do not miss the event, please do not miss our final prime time, which will be on Wednesday, five p.m. SLT, just like normal. With all this bad blood and all this tension, all these championships on the line, we head into the grandest event in all of SL Wrestling, Wrestle Series. Do not wrap it up. miss the I need event. To get back there. All right, folks. Um, thank you very much for coming out to Edge. And uh, I'm sorry. Does anybody else want to take it away? No. Okay, fine, fine, fine. All right, folks, thank you for coming out to Edge at the commentary table saying goodbye to my far right. It is the perfect one perfection, Bryce Carley, and to my lovely center. Keiko, Kirax, and to my left. I'm Deathy. We'll see you on primetime next week. Have a good weekend, folks.
the Mario swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's this video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.